Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick, as always, you can call me Tetra Ninja, and we are once again back playing some Mafia 3. Sorry for the tiny bit of delay in the series, we had some stuff to do, some projects that are due next week, mostly regarding PlayStation VR, so I've been kind of busy doing that last couple days, but we're back once again recording this series, full intention of finishing it. Um, so last two episodes, maybe three episodes, have been kind of janky. Um, some frame stuttering issues caused by... Apparently this is a common thing when they unlock the FPS before this game was like locked at 30 FPS. But when they unlocked it, it created some issues with the game's performance. Um, so it's kind of up and down. I'm still tinkering a little bit. I'm a tinkerer. I like to tinker around with all the technologies and stuff like that. Uh, so if this video does not work out at the full 60 FPS, what we're going to do is we'll just revert back to the 30 FPS cap. I know that's going to kill some of you guys, but you know what kills it more? When characters talk and their voices don't match their lips. So I'm going to record a quick small session here. I'm going to see how it plays. And if it doesn't work, then yeah, we'll drop it back to 30 oh, FPS lock. Mm -hmm. If it works, then that's great. But anyways, oh, less talking, more doing. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. Is it me that everyone looked really sweaty in that little conversation right there? They were just wrenched in it. Okay. So we are in the next case file and the next main mission thing from our Bob. And it looks like we are gonna try to do some cock blocking with this uh, casino racket here. So, I like this game thus far. The story is probably one of the best stories that I've ever played in a video game. The only issue is that the mission structure is very derivative. It's basically the exact same mission over and over again. Interrogate the pimps, um, burn some shit once in a while. And what I don't like is that like throughout the entire submissions, you're kind of revisiting the exact same spots over and over again. I remember with this one mission where I went to the same bathhouse like three times in order to complete it, so that was kind of a piss off. It's kind of annoying that they need to get a little bit more imaginative with the mission design structure. So it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, the first couple hours of this game is still the best gameplay or ga game I played. Well, one of the better games that I played so far in 2016, but it kind of just like took a nosedive after that with the derivative gameplay elements and the storyline structure. That's my biggest complaint so, thus far, but I think, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe hey, over here. it'll surprise me. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to burn us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in a cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have got caught. 
Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Look at that, as predicted. <laughs> An interrogation subquest and then a destroy car subquest. <sighs> okay, whatever. Whatever, man. Let's just go with it. Let's go with it. Look at this thing. motoring and I'm really hoping that y'all are still keeping up with that end bomb counter because I gotta break up that visa by the end of this series and fulfill the commitments I told you guys I would uh, fulfill as bad as it sounds we're not as bad on the end bomb counter as I thought we would be so I may have to do a little bit extra by series end or Cause more of a ruckus afterwards. Raise more shit. Man, this car is tight! Controls like a dream. Cause more mayhem and get the cops to radio in and drop those end bombs, but <laughs> we'll see. What up? I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte, you with the company? Not exactly. They're gonna be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit is sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. Who's working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. Where'd my sweet ass car? Is it still here? I like how the game auto parks it for you. Okay, let's see here. Tickfall Harbor. Risk War. What is this one? Alright. Maybe. I'll do this one. Kill the junior car thieves. Luckily, they are right here. I wasn't sure how, how well the game is optimized, how optimized, oh man, I, I completely spoke that sentence backwards. <laughs> I wasn't 100% sure how well this game was optimized. I run around like 100 frames, and I thought that was okay. And then I played Battlefield 1 earlier this week, and that game's like absolutely gorgeous. And I was running at like 144 frames the entire time. So, <laughs> I'd have to say, in general, probably not the most well-optimized game ever, but, you know, it's still worth it. Overall impressions of this game so far, I know I really hyped it up at the beginning, um, saying that I was kind of, uh, you guys are going to have to wait for my, I do like a should you buy it, whenever I finish the series. Um, I'm going to do one for this game. And I think you should still buy this game, I think. In terms of review score, I'm not going to score it. Um, but I retract all statements about it being a game of the year contender. Mainly because, like I said earlier, the derivative story. But it's still, it's, it's not story. The derivative mission, the gameplay mission design. Um, which, once again, if you were just... It was, my, my opinion was based on like my early game playthrough 
to play of the game. And if you guys were to play it, like, just keep in mind that I only played like the first three or four hours of the game. There and then. And those first three or four hours of the, the first three or four hours of this game are just like ridiculously good. So that's basically where my impressions came from. But I'm, like I said, I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. Just wish there was a little bit more imagination on how the missions were designed. Can he make that shot? Can he do it? This is what happens if you lip off. Uh, yeah. Where are you going, Mr. Sentry? Where are you going? Where are you going? There you are. Get oh, that shit. stupid son of a bitch! Shit. Where's the other guy? No calling on me. Give him the old crowbar. Okay. Next. Was one of these by me? Where's my car? When I reach the next area, I may have to call in some reinforcements here. I need more supplies, I need an attack vest. I have no more adrenaline shots. Man, this car's so fast! Dang! Oh. It automatically just became night all of a sudden. Man, this car felt like so ridiculous. Tick for just about out of everything. I'll head your way now. Resupply, resupply, resupply. Everything you need is for sale. Fill the ammo. Max out on adrenaline shots. Attack vest. Use it in good health. I'm heading out. Regular one man army now. And they used all my money, so if I die, I won't lose it. So my goal is to interrogate this guy, I think. I'll hack your junk. Oh, hello. Surprise! Looks like most of them are upstairs, so just gotta deal with the guy on the ground. What? How the hell did he hear me? Uh, uh, Get this useful oh, are you serious? body out of here. Oh shit! Nice car! That car though! Grabbing some cover! Cover don't protect your heart! One more guy upstairs. Is he 
behind the door? I'm looking right at it. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. I see the monies. Damn them wheels. No. Bust up your machines. I already stole it. Did I take it? I think I guess I oh there's more than one. <laughs> One second, I gotta open the door. Gotta open the door. This thing looks sexy. Shit. I don't wanna destroy them if they're beautiful looking. Destroy stash cars. Granada. Grenade, get to cover. Oh, 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 Next one. Put the gun away, Lincoln. Lincoln. Gotta say all for all say. Ho 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 ho. Simpsons episode, I I didn't mean to defend anyone. All for all say. I think I actually think the other car is better. I think it was, the other car is faster. I'm gonna have to stealth my win in here though. That ninja sneak sauce. Get in here, do some damage. Jesus Christ. I shoot you in the face. How many people will it attract? Oh my god. Hey, he's over here. No, he ain't. Get my big boss on with this pistol, man. Doing some serious work. Here, over here. Hey, bro, you huh? hear that? Nah, nah, nah. You don't hear that shit. Huh? Just out of reach. <laughs> Going to flying backwards. <laughs> oh, why, 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 why? There's just so many beautiful cars, and you want me to destroy them all? Can't even take them, I have to destroy them. That's some bullshit. Straight almost took me out of the game. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt a lot.
I like how she's like right down the road. <laughs> All right, Gina, it's okay. Your problem. destroy that car. You can't make me do it. Young is looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak junior studied up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil? Say junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Later, Gina. Where's this bitch at? We don't need to kill the enforcers. Why is it telling me to destroy this beautiful car? I need to destroy this shit. Cars are getting so much better as the game gets gets going. Handles like a dream. Almost actually goes too fast. Oh my god! It almost it almost goes too fast. I can't control the power! <gasps> oh shit, there's a lot of guys. And he is deep in there. Holy shit. Maybe I should have called the. Uh... Yeah. Let's go through here. Drop real quick. Old school VW. Oh, come on, dude, really? Hey, it's my car. Okay. Oh um, no, no, there's no way in there. I'm going to have to go through here. The entrance. I don't need to go back for those guys, I don't think. Holy shit. That was a bad shooting. I don't know anything about stealing what? cars. Over there, shoot him for fuck's sake. Really? Shit. There goes the fucking neighborhood. Found 
something. It's a grenade. That's a grenade. Let's go right side, right side, right side. Okay, keep it, keep it tight to the right. Tight to the right. Holy shit, where'd you come from? Ah! Get him! You got him. You at a crossroads, Junior. You can come work for me. Or. Alright, fine. Now get the fuck off me. Sure thing. Woo! <laughs> That's a scope. What? Ooh, quietly steal parked car. Covert car. Th I want this one. Can you spare some of your crew to hold tick four? Of course, my friend. They'll be there before you know it. That is an awesome skill to be able to stealth steal cars. Eventually, I got a witness to come forward with information that implicated someone other than Sammy Robinson. A woman who lived near Robinson's place saw Sal Marcano and his son Georgie leaving the bar the night of the killings. I tried to bring Sal in for questioning, but all my efforts were blocked by a Judge Holden, who we now know was on the take. 